Welcome back to Mars Horizon. Let's continue on to the next month. We are launching the Leo launcher in uh, four months, and we have funding in five months. We do have enough support that we can uh, we will reach the next tier. We have oh, we have a mission slot. We have a mission slot. We need to do a mission. Uh, control systems check, atmospheric measurements, solar wind monitoring. Uh, I don't like that it's experimental fuel with a person on board. I really don't. I think we're going to do the solar wind monitoring. Yeah, let's plan that. Uh, we will take the a bit more expensive uh, payload to get the extra uh, power because it's a challenging mission uh, and it's only 70,000 so that's fine. Select payload and start building. Uh, has anyone started anything here? No. All right, next month. And next month. And the International Geophysical Year, a global initiative to gain more geophysical data on the Earth, is taking place in three years' time. Organizers have requested that your agency launches a satellite to collect the required data. If accepted, your agency will expect it to be expected to complete the satellite imaging mission within three years of the current date. You will receive 750,000 immediately and 750,000 if successful. I'll accept that. We can use the money, 750 grand, nice, and the satellite imaging research completed, so we can start planning that mission soon. Uh, minus 50% build time for level 0 vehicle parts, minus 50% launch reliability for level 0 vehicle parts. Eh. Uh, I think we won't be using uh, level 0 uh, vehicle parts, we'll be using Tiny Nerd which is a nice and reliable launch vehicle. Uh, it's only a 40 kilo payload, so uh, we'll load that design. Everything is met. Only costs 72,000. Let's build it. And it takes three months. Okay. So we're completing the Leo launcher in two months. Uh, we need to do the payload as well. That costs 1,250 science. That's going to take a while. Uh, okay, that's not so good. All right, but the Leo launcher is ready. Dog in space. Minus 50% launch reliability penalty for suboptimal launch windows. Increased frequency of suboptimal launch windows. Okay. Let's see. We'll do how reliable we're... Our launch reliability is not great. So I'm actually considering taking that it's only a three percent bonus per month though let's select science and launch date we can go in mars that's an optimal optimal uh, date and get plus 15 percent science or plus nine percent uh launch reliability now ah, we're gamblers let's select march as our go date and next month, budget re review, and we got 1,175 more support, so we're going up to the next tier, 255,000 a month we're making now. Very good. Okay, solar wind monitoring vehicle is complete. Science mission training bonus increased by 100%, minus 10% payload, payload reliability. Okay, well, we are going for science. And we're selecting a launch date. That is April. Get that 30% extra science, I guess. Yep. We'll do that. Now, we can build our VAB now. And we can build it down here. For 1.137 million. And get minus 3% vehicle build time on top of the 10% that we're already getting from, from building the building. So 
we can also rotate it. That's actually cheaper. Build it like that. Okay. Uh, next month. No one is any closer here. We have a lunar radiation. Ooh, that's a mission that we're doing soon. 850,000. As soon as this dog is in space, we're starting that mission. Uh, 70 and 50. Only 50% launch reliability. I don't like that, but we're doing it. And the weather looks decent. Very good. It's a nighttime launch. Let's see. Is it adequate? Is it good? Is it excellent? What is it? The, the better, the better. Adequate conditions, plus 2%. Okay. So a 12% risk of Fido going up in flames. Well, let's see what happens. Don't go up in flames, Fido. Do a good job. Here we go. Here we go. Clear the tower. We're going. It's looking good. It's looking good. Yeah, we are up there. Good job, Fido. All right. Uh, we do have one less battery for the duration of the mission, which sucks. But it is what it is, and our vehicles get, or our vehicle gets a little bit more reliable. That one percent doesn't really do much, I think. But well, better is better. So one and four. One comms, seven data if we need. So let's do this and confirm that. Success on the first one. And the atmospheric sampling is a success as well. All right, so now we have three of those. So how about we do a ground control connection and then another atmospheric sampling that'll leave us with one power all right ground control connection was good and the camera was oh, perfect perfect that gives us four so now we just need one more um visual data collection and we're done. So if we select that, we hit our bonus reward, and then we can recharge the power so that we can resist if something goes wrong, and all is fine and dandy. And we didn't need to resist anything. Perfect. We got our 50% bonus reward. Fido is in space, and Fido is staying in space. Uh, sorry about that, Fido. Uh, I'm sure you didn't sign up for it willingly. All right, 225 support and 1,215 science for two months. That is awesome. That is awesome. So now, well, we're going to do the lunar radiation mission, lucrative plan mission. Um, reduced payload reliability for all options. So we'll just go with the standard. Take two months to do that. And we will uh, continue on. It goes is done. So we can now do the satellite imaging. And we also got the uh, extra 5% payload reliability. All right, solar wind monitoring. 60% payload reliability, 72%. Uh, launch reliability. We'll get 648 science for it. Let's go ahead and launch. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. How does it look? How does it look? 
Come on. Not too bad, right? Not too bad. Bad conditions. Minus six. Nine percent risk of catastrophic failure. All right, we'll we'll take it. Don't go boom, tiny tiny nerd. That would be bad. We want your science. All right, lift off. And we've cleared the tower. Come on, push up there, push up there. Go, go, go. Blow up. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We blew up. 4%. In flight engine failure. Critical failure, vehicle is destroyed. Damn it. Alright. At least there was, it wasn't a dog or a person on board. <sighs> and Emerald and Topaz got a little bit more uh, reliable, so we do lose a bit of support for, for it, but only 50, so it's not too bad. All right, next research is the Gemini payload. Let's do that, and that'll be done next month. Now, we do need to do the satellite imaging mission. We'll be the last to do it, but that's okay. Look at the science we get for that. Plus, we get 750k from uh, the society that wanted us to do this mission. So... That's all good. So we'll do the increased build cost for some extra power. And build that payload. Take three months. Rocket science. After analyzing data from your recently failed launch, researchers have identified several improvements that can be made to your booster technology. Sometimes we learn more when thing the things blow up. A particularly enthusiastic engineer commented it. That is true. 250 science, very good. Gemini research is complete, very good. So, lunar radiation payload is complete. Minus 50% build cost for level 0 vehicle parts, but we don't have any level 0 vehicle parts. So, we'll do the Leo launcher. Load. And cost 166,000 and take five months. Wait, the payload is only 35 kilos? Let's just check. Do we need to use that? Now, this is very cheap and it's very reliable. It's more reliable than, than the other one and it's cheaper. So let's use Able. And Jupiter. 79% launch reliability costs 117,000. And then we have Atlas. Uh, definitely Jupiter. Alright, so this will be the configuration. Only costs 133,000 to build. Five months to build. And we get the 50% uh, cost reduction for the upper stage. So, confirm. Build wheel. Five months. Okay. Let's assign some new research. We need vehicles. Mm. So, we need to research some more here. Three months, four months. I think we'll go with Ariane 1. Let's do that. Ariane 1 research complete. Then we can, we could finish up the large launch pad, which might not be a bad idea. Um, that only costs 250 science. I kind of like the Delta though. Oh, we're going with the Star 37 because It's cheaper in science, it's cheaper to build, it takes shorter time to build, but it's also incredibly unreliable, but that's okay. All right, GOES is complete, STAR 37 research is complete. Okay, 
we have completed that payload for the satellite imaging mission, then we, we can't reuse any of our designs. So let's design a new one. The payload is 1500 kilos. So we could use the Ariane 1 or the Star 37. I think we're going to use the Ariane 1. It's way more expensive, but it builds faster and it's much more reliable. And then we'll go with the Atlas launcher, I think, maybe. It costs 360,000 and three months to build over here. It costs 202,000 and three months to build, but only a launch reliability of 55% where we have 72 here. I think we'll do the Atlas. The name is Tyke. That's fine. Five months, 638,000. Build a vehicle. We need some new research. We can now unlock contractors. But I think I want to finish up the launch pad. Let's just check the moon here. Uh, no one is ready to do that. Uh, all right, Mars flyby. Uh, Soviets are going to win that. Or China, sorry. And NASA is right behind. Let's take a look at Venus. Japan is on their way. Launch in 15 months. And China has the research. Mercury? No one has any research for Mercury. All right. That's uh, active missions. We are using both of them, so next month. And vehicle assembly building completes in a month. So that's kind of nice. Minus 10% vehicle build time. That is a good thing. And we are going to complete satellite imaging last, but I don't care when we complete that. Uh, or where we come in the, the order of completing that. Some optimal launch windows increase mission training bonus by 100%. Okay. Lunar radiation vehicle complete. Uh, we'll do launch reliability training. And then we'll select the launch date. So plus 24% here. I think that's worth it. Mm, actually, it's not. Because it's just reliability. And it's only 79% here. Here it's 82%. So we'll, uh, we'll launch next month. We'll launch next month. Okay, next month. Lunar Radiation, November 1963, a lucrative mission. Let's launch it. Weather is looking good. Let's see. Hyacinth is going into space. Space? Space? Alright, how's it looking? Good conditions, plus 6%, so only a 3% risk of critical failure. And let's hope we don't hit those 3%. We know it's doable. <laughs> Alright, go Hyacinth, go. Get up there, you know you want to go to the moon. You know you want to go to the moon. Get up there. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Looking very good indeed. Plus 10% payload reliability for duration of mission. Nice. I like that. And Jupiter booster is now level 5. And Abel got a level as well and gained some reliability. Very good. All right, what do we need to get? Uh, so translunar injection. We need four and six. Four, data six. 
nav. All right. If we do... this, then we can do this, and then we can do this. Twenty-five percent bonus reward. I think that'll work. Go. All right. Controlled burn successful. Data transmission unsuccessful. Dang it. Resist it. There's ten percent chance of that happening, and it freaking happened. All right. Uh, trajectory optimization optimization is successful as well. So now we have three data. Then we can do a ground control connection. And a trajectory optimization. That puts us at four. We can do another trajectory optimization. Yeah. Confirm. All good on that one. Trajectory optimization again. All good. And all good. All right. So now we can do a ground control connection. We have two turns remaining, so I think we're all good. Then we can do a controlled burn. And another ground control, and that gives us our bonus. We hope we don't have to resist more than one. Alright, cool. An extra nav. And ground control connection, all good. 25% bonus reward in the bag. All right, then we need to do lunar orbit. I love this. It looks so cool. All right, achieve lunar orbit. We need comms and data. Comms and data, we need six and seven. All right. If we do a visual data collection, then a telemetry transfer. Hmm. No, wait. We'll do an orbital realignment, and then we'll do atmospheric sampling. So we're getting two data from a power then we are using one data to get two navs and then we are using those two navs to get three data taking us to a total of four i like it all right visual data collection successful orbital realignment successful and atmospheric sampling successful as well very good all right now I think we'll do two telemetry transfers and then an atmospheric sampling. That gets, gets us close to our bonus. Nice. We get an extra there. And telemetry transfer is successful and so is the atmospheric sampling. So we are just two and one off. So if we do this again, then we're there. Then we're there, and we still have five power, so there is no risk of failing this at all. It's a guaranteed success. Outstanding. Mission Control is going to be happy about that. All right, 850,000 plus the 425,000, so 1.275 million.
That helps with the money. Okay. Now we have the satellite imaging mission, which will be next month. Uh, we want something that gives us science. Heat shield analysis publicized. 750 support and 1500 science. It's a manned mission. That's planet. Uh, I think we'll take the extra power. It's a hundred grand more. Ah, we don't need the extra power. We don't need it. And it'll take three months to build that Mercury capsule. Okay, next month. And the satellite imaging vehicle is complete. All right, plus 5% payload reliability. I like it. Launch reliability is good. We'll do science, of course. And we'll set a launch date of April. Get another 20% science and avoid all those suboptimal windows. So there we go. Confirm mission. Four months and we are doing the satellite imaging which will net us another 750 grand so we're good on money right now all right budget review we only did 175 support in the last year that's not a lot but it's okay it's okay has anyone done no good next month Large launch pad research complete. A large launch pad is required to send the largest vehicles and heaviest payloads into space. All right. Heat shield analysis payload is complete. Only vehicle boosters reliability counts toward launch reliability. Ooh, that's not good. Um, we can't reuse anything. So the upper stage, it actually doesn't matter because the reliability here doesn't count towards the launch reliability, so we might as well use the star. It's much cheaper, but it takes an extra month, so let's use that. And then the booster, we want the most reliable booster that we have, 72%, 55%. Okay, we'll use that. It's way more expensive, but we'll select that part. 486,000, four months to build. Clurotos, that's going to be a challenge to say. All right, build vehicle. Now, we need to build our large launch pad. And it is damned large. Uh, here we get minus 3% vehicle build cost. Over here we get nothing. Here we get minus 2% vehicle build cost. So we could do this. It costs 2 million. But we get both, both of the bonuses so we get minus five percent vehicle build cost done that takes us down to earth again on the money all right so that's the large launch pad we do have the multi-crew orbit ready to go Mm. Venus, they're going to get there first. And Mars, uh, 
we don't have a chance of finishing in the top three there. So I think we'll do re Venus research uh, because, I mean, the crude moon landing is not a, until way down here. And we need, we have to have both the orbital EVA and the Mariner payload done. So we might as well research the Venus impactor. Next month. Uh, have two action uh, two active missions upcoming international geographic geophysical year uh, yeah we know that it'll be in 18 months we're launching now take it easy guys take it easy we'll get there 80% and 80% and a lot of science it's beautiful. Weather looks good. Tyke or Tyke or Teich? How, how would you pronounce that? Tyke? Tyke? Teich? I don't know. All right. What's the conditions like? Adequate conditions. Minus 1%. 5% chance of critical failure. Don't go boom. Don't go boom. We need that science. We need that science. Off we go. It's a cool rocket. I I love rockets. Go 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 go. Thank you. All right. And ooh, critical success. Nice. Plus one command on first turn of first task. Nice. And Atlas and Ariane get a bit more reliable. All right. What do we need to get? We need to get a bit of everything. So eight comms, six data, four nav. All right. I think it would be wise to start with the visual spectrum sampling and then do some ground control connection. Mm. We could, then we could do some visual spectrum sampling again and do another ground control connection. That gives us, that gets us off to a really good start, I think. Confirm. All right. Visual spectrum sampling successful. Ah, ground control connection has a bit of uh, static on the line, but we'll resist that. Fix it. Okay, visual spectrum sampling successful again. And now we get the good connection to ground control. Excellent. All right. So, what's next? I think we use three of these, of the comms, to do some external sensor alignment. Then we do a data transmission. And... Then... We do an orbital realignment. Yeah. Confirm commands. All right. So that was all good. Data transmission good for comms there. Very nice. And the orbital realignment is all good as well. Now, I'm way over what I need to get our bonus here, but I did that because I want to use the two uh, navs to get three um, data. Then we can use a data and a nav to get four uh, comms. 
and then we can use a power to get visual spectrum sampling and that completes our mission our bonus objective for the 50 percent bonus reward so let's do this all right we can only resist twice so nice an extra data unit perfect so we didn't even need to do the final one because we got that bonus excellent mission complete and we finished satellite imaging fifth but that's okay we get 600 support and 572 science for six months so that's more than 3,000 science that we're getting from that mission that is awesome okay so now we have a milestone mission to go on a multi-crew orbit and that is the next mission that we're going to plan it's going to give us a lot of support it's going to give us a lot of science and we are first to do it so let's plan this mission uh, i think we will take the bit more expensive uh, capsule, the uh, Gemini capsule, to have an extra crew. So now for the standard one, we have two crew and it costs 338,000, but we can get three crew in there and it costs 423,000. So it's a little bit more expensive, but we get that extra crew, which is a really useful resource uh, during the tasks in space so let's select that build payload that'll take four months okay uh, let's continue on to the next month the geophysical, geophysical data acquired organizers of the international geophysical year are ecstatic at the data gathered by your recently launched satellite and expect it will continue to generate new scientific insights for years to come gain 750,000 uh, buckaroos and 200 support very nice and venus impactor research is complete despite being our closest planetary neighbor venus dense clouds have kept its features a mystery developing a probe able to withstand its formidable atmosphere would be a technical feat and grant humanity a first glimpse of the elusive surface okay now we need to do the mariner as well but we could also do orbital eva and I think we'll research that first. Actually, no, let's change the research to the Mariner. And go. I don't think we have anything else to do. We have two active missions. Uh, Pleurotus is complete in a month. So we are ready to launch that pretty soon the heat shield analysis and we'll do some launch preparations we will send up uh, our scientist here uh, dinky bernard is going into space again so that's all good we'll do science training we want all the science that we can get and we have pretty decent uh, reliability across the board and July happens to be an optimal uh, launch window, so we will select July as our launch date. Outstanding. Now we are pretty much out of time, so we will continue on in the next one and get Dinky Bernard into space yet again. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.